Hey everybody, thanks for joining the channel. You know, it's kind of interesting. I typically do tool reviews and home improvement and things like that, at least for the videos that I make. Today I'm going to do something different. Recently, I really wanted to create some t-shirts, some hats, stickers, things like that for my channel. And I, I wanted to be able to have as much versatility over doing that as possible instead of just ordering from someone, waiting for it to come in, ordering a cer certain amount. I wanted to really offer a vast offering or, you know, um, just a large variety to people. So I did a lot of research. I have some relatives and some really good friends that do crafting and they buy and they use a machine called the cry cut or cricket machine. And pretty much that's a die cutting machine where you can cut out your vinyl or you can cut out really just about anything. And I made the investment, I bought it, I've been learning about it. But one of the things that I want to do is that I want to press hats. And in order to do that, I really can't press it on these press mats that are just laid flat on a table. I need to create something and I'm not sure if they sell one, I haven't found one yet. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a hat pressing station out of everyday household materials and it's going to be super fast, it's going to be super easy and I'm hoping that at the end of this I'm going to be able to press very nicely and very evenly on one side of the hat. So what we're going to use is just a three 2 by 4s We're going to use, this is an anti-fatigue mat and then we're going to use a piece of scrap carpet. Now what I figured out is that at the base of this hat, if I'm going to press one side, I really have about three and a half inches on this flat part right here. But it does taper when you get to the top. That goes to right around two and a half inches here. Now if I look from the bottom to the top, that's about three inches going to this part. So you crest here, the wide at the bottom, you know, it's short at the top. So I'm gonna take a two by four and I'm gonna build it at the bottom. It's gonna be right around three and a half. Luckily a regular two by four is already three and a half. I'm gonna cut it down to two and a half inches so it's gonna be tapered to the top. And then I'm gonna cut it to the um, length, I guess you would call this is the length that these are the width if you will, here. And then we're gonna screw it together just like this. I'm gonna be able to set the hat on top of it, right down. I'm gonna put this as the base material so that it can have a little bit of give to it. And then the carpet's gonna go right on top in order to be the heat absorption or, well, just the heat barrier, if you will, and allow some uh, flexibility as you're pressing onto the hat, but I do want a flat. I don't want it to be contoured because I want to be able to evenly press that heat in to melt any of the vinyl or you know whatever I'm using for it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's first cut the wood and then we'll circle back and see how it actually works.
All right, so I've got everything set up. Let's go ahead and put the hat down. Remember, this is the large side. We'll center that right there. And it's perfect right here. We'll get this in place. That's, and we'll just press it flat. Start the timer. Okay, so it's on. Well, yeah, yeah, it's just coming off already. All right, everybody, so I am not a professional crafter or maker or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just a person that wanted to make some hats and put my decals on it and some shirts. Uh, I typically do tool reviews, things like that, but I would appreciate if you would subscribe and like the video. Um, I do invite feedback, constructive criticism. Please be respectful. And uh, hey, thanks for watching and uh, tune back in.